So this is going to be our um, one of our shelter or tarp configurations we use in UV, one of the four, uh, the lean-to, the A-frame, the wedge, and the cave. Uh, like from the other videos, see the wedge works best when you have a single point, uh, anchor point, like a single tree. Uh, the cave is great. That can be freestanding with just a simple trekking pole or a stick. For uh, different weather uh, events, we prefer to use the A-frame and then uh, in the summer, maybe the lean-to. But the A-frame is our probably our, our first uh, tarp configuration that we like. So basically you just need your tarp. I got a 10 by 10 uh, free soldier, which is a DD tarps, uh, three by three ripoff. Uh, it's cheaper and somewhere and a ridge line. So you've seen this in lots of other places. Uh, this is referred to sometimes as a rapid deploy ridge line. I think it's, um, uh, what's his name? Corporal Kelly over at uh, Corporal's Corner, or of course um, Dave Canterbury. They call them the rapid deploy ridge lines because they put their, they have four prussics already tied on their loop, and then they've got this uh, wrapped up in this hank that deploys rapidly. I guess is the idea. We call this the infinity coil. If you check out the UV basic knots, you should already have uh, mastered that. So we've got two anchor points. I've got a tree there and a big tree over here. So let's set up our ridge line first. So I'm going to pull out a little bit, slide my prussics out of the way, and kind of get that line around. So I'm going to do an A-frame. Uh, I'm not going to put this much higher than maybe waist high. And in UV, this is, the, this is typically the way we do this. I could thread my whole hank through that line uh, and tighten it up. But sometimes an easier way to go is just take a toggle or one of your tent stakes and basically doing a marlin spike hitch by pulling a bite of that working end of the rope through your prepared loop and just slide a toggle through there and just sort of tighten that down against the tree. Okay? That way when you're ready to go, you just pull this out, whoosh, the line comes right off the tree. If you're in a hurry to set that up, okay? it also kind of goes up pretty quick. Just pull a bite through, weave my toggle through there, and tighten that down. Okay? Then we're going to walk this end over to our other anchor point. Okay. We're going to go around, and then here's where we get to uh, tie this off. Again, we're going to go down about just about waist high. We'll be high enough for this. So we're going to make just a simple trucker's hitch. So we're going to run, we're going to turn um, an overhand loop, lay that across the running end, and make a running hitch. You can check out our knot videos for a, a more of a um, slowed down tutorial of a trucker's hitch. Then I'm just going to feed my line through that loop. And then it just uses sort of a, a pulley or ratching action. I just pull that down nice and tight. Ball. Right. To finish off my trucker's hitch, I'm just going to pinch that where it closes. Tuck that in through for a half hitch, pull it tight. And I just give a long loop. Uh, you can do lots of things. You can pick this coil up. You can run a toggle through there so it doesn't come undone. But for today, that would be uh, tight enough. So now i got a nice taut um, ridge line. I'm going to find our tarp. I'm going to spread this tarp out. We're going to find that center line. There's usually a seam that runs down with extra grommets down the center. I'm going to gather that up, and we're going to throw half of it on the other side of our ridge line. The tarp's just spread out here. Those prussics that were tied on there earlier, uh, you can slide those into position now, or you can tie a prussic knot. Again, check out some of the uh, knot videos if you're not sure how the prussic works. And now I can uh, grab a couple sticks off the ground. So I got a couple toggles here. And I'm just going to run, I'm going to make a simple lark's head and slide my toggle through there on my prussic. So I tighten that up. And then I can thread that through the toggle on my tarp to kind of hold that fast. Now slide my prussic down a little bit. That's good. We're going to do the same thing at the other end. Slide my prussic till my tent is nice and taut on that ridge line. Now I just stake out the corners and my A-frame is ready.
All right, now, if I wanted to get a little more, a little more serious about weather protection, I can close off one end of my A-frame with another tarp, or sometimes I'll pitch my A-frame up against a short conifer or a bunch of bushes or a rock, so one end's closed. And this is the classic uh, A-frame tent configuration, just with, done with a tarp. Slide a ground pad in here or make a big pile of leaves. There's plenty of room for two uh, full-size adults under here, maybe even three if you squeezed in. To make this more um, user-friendly so I had more headroom, I would maybe just raise the ridge line up a bit and then uh, decrease the angle or the slope on the walls. I can stake down uh, further some of the loops on the outside so get more weather protection. But uh, this is a great uh, setup. It's simple. It's easy. There's not much to remember. You can vary it a lot. Lots of variations with the A-frame. So uh, let us know what your, vari your favorite variations of the classic A-frame are. Uh, this one works great with a uh, bug net. So these are great in this size for a pair. And then sometimes we do a, 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 a pod, which for us a pod's three people. When in the bigger um, 12 by 12 or 13 by 13 size tarps we use. Same tarp, just a little bigger. We can put a whole pod under there with all their gear. And then they use the smaller tarp to make a floor in the back for gear and close off one end. Um, or run their, their bug net first and then pitch an A-frame over it. So it's great for uh, all seasons. Uh, the biggest thing is this is really a wind tunnel. So you're going to want to pick your anchors carefully. That's that first W of campsite selection. Look for your, where the wind's coming from. But uh, I love the A-frame. It's classic. I think it's Patrick's favorite. He uses only the A-frame. This could also be pitched, uh, or sorry, run higher off the ground. So when I pitch a tarp, that means by definition it's been staked or fastened to the ground. And when I fly a tarp, that would be the tarp is off the ground. So if I were to raise my ridge line up, maybe head height, uh, I could pitch my I, I could hang my hammock under the flying A-frame and then I would have weather protection and be able to sleep in my hammock. It's still just an A-frame. You can <clears throat> run the A-frame when you're hanging your hammock. A lot of times I'll run corner to corner in a, in a, a flying diamond pattern, but a, a flying diamond um, is still basically an A-frame. And then I just stake out the corners and I've got enough protection for my hammock and all my gear. But the A-frame is a classic. This is the first one you'll learn on the Uncivilized uh, Vitality campaigns because it's uh, an oldie but a goodie. So, uh, like I said, let us know some of the variations you do in the comments. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share this so we can get more people out enjoying the outdoors.